morning, guys. How are you all going? And I hope now you're turn all... right. Oh, turn right. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, out and about again today. It's a very, very uh, exciting day for me. Um, I've got the, uh, th three young kids out with me today. Two of them are... Follow the course of the road for four kilometres. Two of them are out of Shorty and Spike. Shorty was Graham's um, best Jill in my opinion. And I bred her this year with, uh, with Spike and, uh, and reared the kids. Graham got one of those kids to pick at the litter. Um, and she's a beautiful ferret. He took her out yesterday and she bolted 11 rabbits. So that was encouraging enough for me to um, think, you know what, I might take mine out tomorrow. So I've brought them along. Whether I'll actually enter them or not is, uh, is another story. Um, I'll probably get their names wrong during the day because until I get used to them. But um, I have got Luna in there, which is a little pink-eyed Jill that I picked up from another line. Um, and as well as uh, Shorty's too, which I've called uh, Nala and Sasha. So we'll take, we've got we've got those in. It. In addition to them, I've got. Star, Buffy and Xena. But that's the ferrets I've got with me today, guys. Heading out to a place today where I've never been before. Um, I got put on talk by Graham. He said, oh, there was a few burrows out there and, and a few of them were on a bloke's property. I got the bloke's number off Graham as well and I rang him up and he said, yeah, mate, sure, go do them burrows and when you finish, come and see me and I'll put you onto a few more. So that was nice of him, so uh, I'm going to go out and do the burrows, the ones that we know are there. Uh, and then he said to come and see him, he's going to be crunching some sheep out there, not too far away. And uh, I'm going to go out and see him and he's going to point me in the right direction to a few other burrows out there. So an exciting day for a lot of reasons, isn't it? So, so I'm speeding. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I love this time of year, I love seeing how the kits are going to perform and whether or not um, you know we, we're on the right track with the breeding program. Um, to a couple of people out there that I've spoken to recently uh, in regards to my philosophy about, about breeding, um, look if you do any sort of research on hybrid vigour you'll understand my philosophy in, about, about breeding ferrets. Um, one of the main things, and, I don't, and to put it simply, you hear me say, have a priority trait system and don't, uh, don't breed your ferrets if they're even, even remotely related, if you, can, if, you can, if you can avoid it. So, um, and what that means is you pick out two different ferrets with, uh, you've got a list of traits that you want, and if a ferret's weak in a particular area and strong in other areas, you bring in a ferret that's strong in its weak areas, that isn't related, and put them together. And nine times out of ten, you'll get a um, a ferret that's a lot more well-rounded. After that's one kilometre, turn right. So that's my philosophy, guys. And I'll speak in depth on the, on that subject um, pretty soon because I've been getting a few questions about about that particular philosophy. And um, there's a lot of science behind it. But believe it's it's far from foolproof. You know, you never actually know until you put your ferrets down. What you do know is you get a lot more consistency in your working ferrets. What do I mean by that? It means if you've got 10 working ferrets, uh, 10 kits in the litter and you end up working all 10, there's probably not gonna be a lot of difference between the best one and the worst one. With the exception of uh, every now and again, you get some that are outstanding. You know, and that goes, you know, that's they're just born gifted. So um, that's what I mean by that. But I'll go into that in depth at, at a later point. At the end of the road, turn right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to today. A very, very exciting day, mate. I can't wait to see how these kids go. I've got very, very high expectations of them. I expect them to be um, better than the parents. Um, and that's the whole point of the program, to increase to increase the uh, the efficiency of the and after 500 and meters of, turn right and the type of ferret that you that you're breeding that's the whole idea behind the program is to make the kids better than the parents 
doesn't always work out, but um, sometimes it does. All right, guys, when I get there, I'll get back here. I've raved on enough. At the end of the road, turn right and then turn left. And I'll, and I'll uh, put, get back here when I get there. All right, guys, here I'm here and I'm set up. I've put a long net around this burrow. It's a perfect burrow there to put the kits in. Um, thanks for that, Graham. I found it all right, mate. Um, and apparently there's a few rabbits on that dam. So I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to go over to... Um, I think his name's Barry. Barry's place. Just there and do that dam. And... And then I'm going to go out and see him. I know where he is. Well, he's given me a general direction where the lane, and he said he's out there crutching some sheep, so I'll be able to find him. And he's going to put me on to a, a few other burrows. He's lived out here all his life, so he probably knows where they are. So thanks again, Graham. Good on you, mate. Perfect burrow. Look, I undernarded about person it up, and I thought, oh, look, if I'm going to work the young ferrets, I'd rather just put a long net. So, I didn't see any burrows on the other side of the fence. I thought Graham said there was, but they're not. But the dam's definitely on berries. All right, let's get out. A couple of these young ferrets. I'll leave Grace here. We'll get out Luna. Nala and Sasha. Come on, Grace, you can't come. Go in there. Luna, which is a pink eyed one, lunatic, one that savaged me. Sasha and Nala. Sasha is the white one, and I'll probably forget their names. Alright, put her there. Put her there. Oop, put her there. All right, Sasha went to ground. Luna, gone to ground. And Nala, still, still having a bit of a sniff. Just let her go. And I've got the other two dogs in the car and Chase out on his own, out of the car. I'm just going to let her find her way. Sasha. This is the first burrow, guys. Touring another hole. Move, move. There she goes. And she's gone.
Off she goes, bit of a shake. When, when they shake like that and then walk off, I like that. She's a little bit slow to get going, but when she shook, shook and took off, then it was good. Apparently, Graham's seen a few run in here, which is why I, why I came. So we'll give these kids an opportunity. It's Sasha's working all right. Luna I haven't seen since I put her in. I've been speaking to Graham about that Luna. I really like her attitude, the pink-eyed Jill. That's one that I brought in. I really like it. I brought in two different lines and um, there's a black-eyed white and this pink-eyed white and out of those two this one's she's got a really good nature the things i look for in working ferrets that she's showing a lot of in kits as much as you can tell Oh, there's a bolt. There's one. Bang. Get him, Chase. Get him, Chase. Get him, Chase. Good boy. Get him. Good boy. Good boy. All right, mine. Mine. Oh, look at it. It's all chewed up. So whatever ferrets had it, chewed it, chewed it right up. Look at that. Fantastic. Well, that's good, isn't it? Geez, it made a big mess of it. Lucky it didn't kill it and almost pulled its ear off. Not sure which bird it was, but it made a mess of it. Here's Sasha. Back down. Put this one up here for now. They just, there's a, they bolted two out. One hole hopped. Didn't have it on video, but mine. And this one they caught. Mine, mine. Watch it. Look, 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 look. Oh, there's Luna. She looked real fired up, too. Come here, Sip. Sip. Come. Hop. Get up. Watch him, Chase. Good boy. Sasha.
Luna. Back down. Really like that ferret. And I've liked it for a little while since not long after I got her I looked at her and thought, oh she might be alright. Nope. It's all fluffed up, look at her. Nala, I haven't seen since um not long after I put her down. So the bowl of three, one ran out when the camera was off. And I turned it off because I was putting um the dog in the car. Anyway, one ran up, hit the net, zip got it. She flew out of the car when she seen it. And um and the other one came out, seen the dog, there's another one. Good boy Chase. Good boy Chase. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, good boy. All right, mine, mate. Mine. That's enough. Mine. Mine. Good boy. Mine. They're doing all right, these three kids, aren't they? Bolted four now. And one. One hole hopped. Big system. No! Good boy. Come here. Here's uh, Luna. Back down. And back up. And Sasha. Right, they, they look like they're going a bit better now. Oh, there's Nala. Found a bolt hole. <laughs> Very nice. Found a bolt hole and down. Just covered up and she squashed her way in. Sasha and Luna. Let's let Luna go. Let them both go. See if they go back down. Yep. Both back down. And that's why I opted not to use the purse nets. The purse nets can discourage them from going back down when when they're young. So if you're training young ferrets and you've got the the option, the long net's probably the way to go on the first few burrows till they've had a couple of kills. Look, you can do it with purse nets. I mean, I've done it for years, but um, I just think it's 
it's easier for them to um, on the first few holes just to let them find their way move chase move chase let it go mate your grain's got a sister out of these and it's, it's longer in the it's a beautiful ferret it's a lot dark it's pretty dark dark polecat a lot longer really long and thin I'm pretty sure that he stretches them at home with a some sort of elastic system or something I'm not sure but they're working good aren't they and he, he took her out and she bolted 11 I think he said and worked really good savage she was real savage so that's encouraging I thought geez I'm taking mine out tomorrow and here I am it's Monday, I think, oh, there's a big, big bolt. Oh, hear he that, there it is, bang. Get him, Chase, get him, Chase, good boy, good boy. All right, good boy, mine, mine, Chase, mine. That's mine. Oh, come here, it's all right, mate. It's all right, mate. Or there's another one, I think. No. Good boy. Good boy, guys. Beautiful rabbits. Bloody beautiful rabbits, right? I've got plenty of eating ones, or I'd keep a few of these. They're real nice, mate. So these young ferrets are going good, aren't they? Oh. No, they're all coming up now. Nala. Put these on the back of the car. Sasha. Back down. But it was a perfect starter burrow, wasn't it? Not that big. A few holes, but not that big. It's got 150 yards long that almost made it round. Bit of a gap there. Sasha. It's important guys, like this is their first burrow, that from day one you try not to teach them bad habits. One of the worst things you can do is not let them walk, walk close, cl um, clear of the burrow and try and grab them and they run back down to get away from you. You don't want that. Oh, heard another bolt. It might have been the dog in the car. So let them walk cl right clear of the burrow, wait till they're, they're finished working. They'll walk clear of the burrow and then pick them up when they've had enough or... So you start teaching them good habits from day one. It can be a bit annoying sometimes if you've been if they've been in there a while, and then when you walk over to them, they run back down. But just let them walk clear. But 
got nice views here. You, can, you can't see them all yet. But mist coming up out of the trees, but behind me, over there, is a bit of a hill. Might be able to come out on the camera. It's a nice part of the country. It's about uh, about 30 minutes from my place. Is um, Nala. That's the one that's like shorty, Graham. Gee, she's like shorty, isn't she? It's a spitting image, mate. Luna. Luna's got all blood on her. Sasha. Alright. Sasha, I'll pull her back down. Luna. Really like that ferret, mate. No. Sasha, this burrow could be done. What I'll do now is I'll, I'll just to make sure that um, I haven't missed any. I might get old Grace out in my nursery. Right? We've got to see the kids savage that that rabbit. I mean, they they really savaged it. Almost pulled its bloody ear off. Look at that. Grace in there, old Grace. Oh, she goes. Whoop, there's an up there, Bob. The kids folded another one. Good boy. I didn't get... It's alright, mate. Get him. get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Good boy, Chase. It would have got away then. Good boy. When he gets good boy, mate, that's a good boy. That would have got away if it wasn't for Chase. That's a good boy. Good boy. Alright, mine, mine, it's mine now. When he gets caught in the net, he freaks out. Look, as he gets older, he'll understand it's not going to hurt him. But I've had a few dogs do that. Sip used to do the same. And fleek to a lesser degree. So they've bolted five, haven't they? There's Grace. Old Grace. Luna. Back then. Luna and Sasha. Good boy, mate. Yeah, Luna and Sasha. Great to watch a young kids to work, isn't it? There's um, Nala. They're playing a bit now, but that's that's okay. I don't expect that from kids. Did they bolt my low ground? Bolting real easy, mate. Nail it down. He scared me then. There you go, mate. Good, mate. Did you get the few? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Doug. Doug, Fred. Fred, how are you, Fred? Yeah, good. I yeah, spoke to um, Barry yesterday. All right. And I'm going to probably do the Dan Burrow next. Yeah. And then I'm going to go out to Dris T. Driscoll and he's, he's out there crutching. Yep. He's going to put me on to a few more. More, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the joint on the corner. Oh, right, yeah. Is there. The, um, you got standard breeds, is that right? No, no. Oh, they must be up a road. Yeah, no. Oh, all, all the horses there are all in for break and they're oh, are they? there, everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to have, um, well, I had an Anglo-Arab when I was young. Yep. 
And my daughter's into warm blood Arabs. Yeah. Natural, she's into natural horsemanship, though. Yep, yeah, well, that's what I do, too. Okay, yeah. I'll give you one of these just in case for your neighbours while, while I'm here. I've got a... So if you know any of your neighbours that are having any issues, I mean, I'm... That's who I am and what I do. I'm in Great Western now. All right, yep. We relocated from Echuca about six weeks ago. Yep. But I know a lot of people out here from the old stomping grounds. Around there. We used to go out around um, Lexton Amphitheatre. <laughs> it's their first day out, these kids. All right. And they've bolted five out already. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, doing all right. Yeah, you don't day. see anyone working ferrets as much these days. Uh, I see them because I, I'm, I know, yeah, I know yeah, the people. people because of my YouTube page, I've got over 350 videos on there. Oh, right. yep. and, um, and people get to know you and say so you get to know them and then you catch up and you go out. And... Yeah, quite, quite fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, I, mate, I love it. Look, look at your officers. Yeah. You just stand, I'm, I'm retired, but yep. I, do this, I do this three days a week. Yep. But um, yeah, stand around, listen to the birds, look at the scenery. Yeah. It's all good, you know. That's it. Yeah, yeah but I'll do this one, that one, depending on the weather. But I'll go out and see Barry, if I, and if I don't do any more because of the heat, because the ferrets get lethargic after about 20 degrees Celsius because they're a European animal. They get a bit... I'll, um, I'll talk to Barry, and he'll, he said he'll put me on to a few, but I'll, I'll get around to him, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, geez, we've had a problem here with them for a while. They're just getting thicker and thicker. But I've noticed of late some of them are a bit on the lethargic side, whether Mixie's getting them or whatever. It's, it's just starting. It. These None of the ones I just caught have got Mixie. It's like they're, they're all bloody really healthy, mate. They're all real good. Yeah, no, they look clean, they? Yeah. Oh, there's another one there. Yeah. That's, what, that's what the young ferret did. <laughs> First devil. day one, mate. <laughs> yeah. Look at yours all. See? Yeah, I've got, a, I've got um, 20 workers. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that, that's a 10 year old one. All right, yep. These ones I bred la uh, last year, and they're, they're, they're bloody real good, mate. Yeah, yeah fascinating yeah. little critters, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. My ferrets don't bite, but be careful, ferrets bite. Oh, yeah. 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 I've been latched onto a few dogs. Me too, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Got a beautiful morning, though, isn't it? It is, mate. Couldn't ask for better. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pick these young ones up and move no, over to the dam. I'm All right, buddy. Yeah, that puppy, he's, he's only eight months old. Yep. And he's still learning about cars and stuff. Yeah. He, look, he's stock trained. I, I do that early when they're young. And, and his obedience is good, but he's just still good at if he would cars, you know. Yeah. Right. Chase, didn't, come. Didn't even see him coming up there. Yeah, no, he was running up to the side of the car, not the... Yeah. I thought he was going to go underneath. <laughs> yeah. he, he's all right with other dogs, isn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, no, all my dogs are social. Yeah. All, yeah, no, yeah, no I'm worries. Sure you're an old bloody no, 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 no way. Out he, to run, so. Even if they attack him, they, no, they, my, won't. they won't even fight back, you know. Yeah, I, I can't have dogs that, that aren't social. Me either, mate. Yeah. Everybody says, yeah. oh, blue healers, you've got to watch them. Mine's as friendly as bloody. Yeah, hell. mate, I had a pit bull for years. You, you see it on the videos. I took yeah. her out for years, farmed on all the farms, and she'd lick the other dogs to death. death yeah. But it was the obedience and the heavy socialising when she was younger. younger yeah. yeah, that's it, mate. That's how they're brought up. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Yeah. All right, Fred. I'll catch you later. See if I can get him to come. I'll get. Oh, see that? She walks straight up to me. That's great, mate. All right, that's good. That's one. That's um, Sasha. Oh, gee, she's a beauty, isn't she? Look at that. Bloody hell. Day one, guys. Gotta watch her now, she'll be a bit... Oh, no, she's all right. All right, so Sasha back. Look at that. Fantastic. So you wait until the young ferrets have finished their work and then they, then they walked over. So you're teaching them good habits from day one, aren't you? All 
All right, so we just got Nala to go. All right, I've turned this camera off now, guys. Until I see her come out, I'll put it back on so you can see me pick her up. And I don't think she'll be too far away. I might have killed one down there and a small one or something. Which is the way they savage their first one. Okay, get back to you. That Nala's in there on her own and she's bolted too. One got through the net and it's running up there, chases after it. And the other one's in the net here. So she's bolted another two out of, out of there on her own. The other two came out and she, there she is, right behind it. Look at that. Look at that. First day, day one. Fantastic, mate. Look at that. That's a ferret, mate. Look at that. Day one. Couldn't, you couldn't ask for better than that. Look at this. Straight onto it. Mate, what a savage. Geez, they're, going, they're good ferrets, aren't they, Graham? Oh, real good, mate. Oh, gotta watch me fingers. <laughs> All right. I'll pick her up now. So, geez, they, geez, they went good, didn't they? Kill that one. So they bolted seven, we caught six. Did you miss him, mate? Did you miss him? I'll let these other dogs out now. I just want to chase to have a bit of a go on his own. There could be more in here. Um because we've only really run the kit through, haven't we? I did put Grace through, which was, I picked her up pretty quickly. Yeah, I could, I could run the other ferrets through, or I could leave them till next time. Like, we got half a dozen out of there. Yeah, I might, I might just leave, leave it. I don't want it to sort of get them all one got away and that's uh, Nala grabbed me then when I uh, put her on that rabbit she grabbed hold of me and drew a bit of blood but she was all frizzed up after, from, from the rabbit so it just goes to show doesn't it juicy good rat, good ferrets done good girls you done really really good so it's not going to be an issue with them. Day one ferrets, guys. First burrow. Bolted seven and we caught six. Couldn't ask for better than that, could you? All right, guys. Uh, I've just put a few purse nets down on this burrow. Over here. A couple of sneaky ones down there. Um, Graham said there was a couple of burrows on this stand. I've got Buffy, Zena and Star in the, in the box. As you can see, I've pursed it up. And I've still got to have a look, there might be other burrows out here somewhere. Because that burrow goes off this way. Oh look at that, comes all the way up here. I think. Oh yeah, for sure, look at that. Oh, it comes out over there, Keeps a few few holes on it. I might have to put down a few more purse nets. If we'll get a few rabbits out of here, all right, mate. Look at that. I think there was another burrow out here somewhere. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a look. Put down that couple more purse nets and put the camera on when I'm ready to drop the ferrets in. I thought he said there was a small one over on this bank wall. I could be wrong. You might have meant that that little one there. Yeah, so if you've got one of Shorty's kits, you done you done well get grabbing hold of one of them, that's for sure. Because they're going real good, like that's 
three of them we've tried. A lot, a lot of rabbit poo here. That's three of them we've tried. And all three of them are going from day one. Yeah, you must rent that other one. Anyway, I'll purse that other one up I, ju we, I just showed you. And then we'll throw a ferret in. I might have missed a hole or two, but that's okay. We all know that I like watching the dogs run. So um, I don't really mind if there's one or two missed. Get back to you. Alright, got a ferret or two. Might um start that one over there with whoever's in here. Sooner. I think it's Lena or it could be Star. It's hard to tell them apart. Star. It's yeah, Star. So I'll put Star in up here. Oh, there's the other furrow over there. Jeez, that might be the one Graham was talking about. I think one ran out over there then. Could be a hole down the bottom here somewhere or something. I'll just drop another ferret down. Got a feeling she's caught one. There it is. Jesus, flew out and rolled down the hill. All right, Fleet, 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 Fleet. Watch him. Woo, 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 woo. Got another one, too. Good dogs. There's a star right behind it. Oh, good dogs. Good dogs. Chase, come. Bring them to me. Come. Come. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Mine. All right, mine, mate. Mine. Mine. Good boy. Not this star. I'll pick her up just quickly. She's quiet. So there you go, two quick ones, one ferret. Star to star. She is a beauty, isn't she? That's Hades' daughter. And I picked her up mainly because <laughs> both the nets are off. I will put her back through again. Good boy, Chase. He's getting better and better, that Chase. Better and better, mate. No. Bloody pups, they're so annoying when you're training them. And even now, he's still doing stuff that can be annoying. Like with the net, when he gets caught up and screams and that. But he'll, he will stop that soon. He's still young in the mind, very, very mature. But he looks like he'll be all right. He's already all right. But handy enough around the nets already. But he's got a lot of improvement in him, mate, that's for sure. He, well, he's nine months on this today. He's nine months today. So still a baby, isn't he? It's 
already getting hot. This burrow's in the shade, so it's pretty good. We'll run star through there once more. So there's a few rabbits around here, isn't there, guys? And you, really, you should keep a net in your pocket at all times, one or two. I don't bother because I've got dogs, and if one runs out, it, you know, they'll get a chase. So I don't bother. But the right thing to do is always have at least one in your pocket. It's done. Good girl. Right, I'll drop Puffy and Zena in this one. I'll leave that one netted in case they get out and get back netted. And these ferrets have just been fed too, by the way. I gave them some liver just before. So for the people who say, oh, I've got to make me ferrets hungry, get better ferrets, mate. If you've got to starve your ferrets to get them to work, get better ferrets, because the ones you've got aren't no good. All right, right drop. One in there. Oh, they both go in there, well that's alright. Puffy and Zena have both been down for a while. I might get Star out and put her in that top burrow up there. I reckon they've caught one in there. Fleet won't leave the hole and he thinks something's going on. I can't hear it, but that's by how he's acting. Star in this side. Off she goes. Come here, Fleet. Wait, come. Wait. He really likes that bar, eh? For a bit of fun, as if they come up out of here on the top. I mean, that one over there with no nets, give me dogs a run. Right, just puffy missing, I think.
I'll leave these ones in case I run over and get back netted. Yeah, just puppy. So I think they killed one. The way um, the ferret was licking its lips. these rabbits while I'm at it. How good this knife? No, it's okay. There's one of them that was blunt. I did sharpen a couple of the other days. This is obviously one of them. Oof. in the esky. So we're getting a few aren't we? You know not huge numbers but we're getting a few. That burrow was a bit disappointing actually. Still no buppy. And I do have quite a bit of ice in the esky. Alright guys, I'll wait for Buppy to come out, pick her up, and then we're going to go over there and go at that one with no nets. Maybe I'll throw down a personal or two, I'm not sure. I'll see what happens. There's Buffy. She, oh, look at the fur on her. She's been on that rabbit up there that whole time. Now she's working the rest of the burrow. <laughs> look. He. He. Get him, Zip. Look, Zip. He. Get him. Got him. Mix over for sure. Yeah. All right, mine, 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 mine. Good boy. Full of mix, though, mate. Full. Bad. Funny, yeah, none of them got it. Just one or two get it, don't they? I'll put him up there. Look at that. Full of mix, though. And dogs ran straight past it. All right, come on. Good boy, Fleet. Good boy. I was just standing there waiting for Buffy and I seen it walk across the road. I'm still waiting for Buffy to come out. She's not stuck so she's... I think she keeps going back to that dead rabbit. Or, the, or it's the one in the corner anyway. Good boy, Fleet. So put the other two down and she comes out straight away. Start. So just learn it to go. If I waited one more minute, I would have got them. Here she is. I've seen it.
Alright, that's all the ferrets back. Walk over here, I might drop down a person or two. I'll leave these ones here in case they get out and get back at it. But I'll leave a few holes open for the dogs. This will probably be the last burrow and then I'll go out and see Barry. And he'll point me in the right direction to a couple of burrows, he said. Then I'll go and check them out and do them next time I come. All right, guys, I'll drop a few purse nets on some of these holes. I'll leave a few open. I change my mind again. I'll, I'll purse up this side and leave that side open. Yeah, I'll throw a few purse nets on this side. Along there, there, and there. And then um, I'll leave that side open. Get back here. This will be a bit of fun, won't it? One, two, three. Right here, I have one end over here. If it goes in. Looks like it used to, whether it still does or not. You can see, one. Two. Move. Move. Three. Bit of a shaking off she goes. Whoop! Bang! Straight away. Good, good dogs. There's Buffy right behind it. Oh, mine! 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 No mix so. Mine! Dead now, mate. Look at him biting the boy was biting the net. Okay, no. Mine. You you're getting better at that, aren't you mate? <laughs> Actually. Found it. Doesn't want to really go now. As soon as it moves. I don't know what happened then. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo. Oh, he hit the fence flat out. Hurt himself then, fleet. Kept on going, mate. Hit that log hard, mate. Kept on going. He think it, he thinks it went in that burrow, but it didn't. There he goes, oh, hoo hoo! She's there chasing a few out of here. This burrow's big. But that one come out down there. Alright, we're we'll Drop her in over here. Oh there's another one in the net. Caught another one. I've seen a ferret walking around up here, not sure which one. I might just just leave it there guys. Because if I keep working this burrow, they're gonna push them all out of it. 
We pushed a couple out, we caught a couple. I just wanted a dog to have a run, they did that. I'll check Fleet over in a second. Make sure he didn't hurt himself too much. Where are you, Fleet? He looks okay. Come here, buddy. Come here, let me have a look at you. I heard him hit that log real hard. He thought the rabbit went in here and slammed. He thought it went in there, slammed into that log. I seen the rabbit keep on going and run up there. And there's the other ferret out. Looking for them rabbits. You know they're in the box, don't you? Look. See? Alright, let me get them out. So we got a few. Well, don't put your nose on her. But we got a few, didn't we? Alright guys, we'll pack up. I'll go and see Barry. And um, he, he'll probably put me onto a couple more burrows. I'll check them out the next time. And we'll come back and do a few more. Not sure exactly how many we got. But it was about, I don't know. About ten, somewhere around there. Maybe, maybe a couple more. But a lot of fun, wasn't it? Another good day. And it's not over yet, I'll do a bit of adventuring now. Go and check these burrows out. And I always like doing that sort of thing. It's a beautiful drive on the way out here. It's about half an hour from my place. But, you know, look, look, at, look at the views. So, driving anywhere around these areas, like, it's bloody fantastic. And I stop on the little creeks and stuff and let the dogs out and have a walk around and I'll stand there and listen to the birds and look at the scenery. I like doing that sort of thing as well. So it's good. Alright guys, get back to you uh, once I know what, one, after I talk to Barry and, and I head out to one of the spots that he points me to. All right, guys, I'm on my way back now. I just finished talking to um, Barry's son, actually. I ran into him accident, accidentally, and um, I did go out. I found uh, Barry and went out and had a word to him, and he, he put me onto a couple of couple of spots. Uh, so there's a few burrows I've got to go back to. It's getting too warm now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I ran into his son accidentally, and he said, oh, yeah, and he said, oh, I've got a few sheets there. It's got a few under it. There's a hill over there that's it's got a few warrants on it so uh, but it's too warm today so I got his number and I'm gonna contact him a couple of days before I come back and, um, so I got all that to do as well so yeah another another successful day very very pleased with the kids absolutely stoked mate it's um you know they, they couldn't have done better really could they they did a bloody mighty fine job for first day parents exactly uh, what the what I was looking for so uh, happy days ahead. I still haven't used Storm's kits. Uh, they're about a week away. They're a bit, a little bit younger than these ones. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using those. Um, I've also got Trixie's kits, which were born on the first of the, the first of the first. So they were New Year's Day ferrets. And uh, and I'll be look. I'll be keeping all of those except one. Graham's going to take one, and I'm keeping the other four, a male and females um, and I'm expecting big things from them too. Uh, Star, Buffy and Tina all work, worked okay, there wasn't really a lot in the burrows that they did but you know they pushed out what was there. Well that's going to be it for another day guys, uh, exciting times ahead, uh, still haven't started Tim's place, I'll give him a call sometime this week, he's obviously been pretty busy um, and I've got to go out with Karen to meet Al and look at another part of his property. Uh, sometime this week, I'm going to line it up with Karen. I'll, I'll line it up with her sometime today. So uh, yeah, a lot going on. It's starting to get on to get onto a few now. Whatever you're doing in life, guys, get out and about and enjoy. Because life goes past way too fast. Bye for now.